Hello and welcome to Wastelands Raceway. Welcome back if you've been before and welcome anyway if you haven't. Today it's going to be a quick tutorial showing you how to make barbed wire for your Gaslands cars or any other use. If you're watching in America that would be barbed wire and if you're watching in Poland that would be drut kolczaste. I know there's at least one viewer out there that will appreciate that. So let's crack on with this. First thing you're going to need, or at least the first thing that I use, is a piece of wood. Um, and I've stuck a pin in the end of it, a dressmaker's pin. Cut the head off the pin. Um, cheap and unsophisticated, uh, very much like myself in many ways. In terms of materials, I'm just using this stuff. This is picture hanging wire, um, which is a load of thin wires all twisted together. I'm just going to untwist it just to get one of the individual strands out process itself are fairly easy. You just wrap your wire around your pin three times, keeping it pretty tight. And once they're wrapped round, you just pull the top and the bottom ends up towards each other. So the coil is tightened. Then you just loop it over and start again. Three wraps around your pin, keeping it tighter than that. Just uh, one, two, three times round, and then holding it in place, you pull the tops, the top strand down as tight as you can. Um, if you can't get it as tight as you'd like, um, as here, just use a pair of tweezers to push your coil together, um, making it a nice tight coil. And you just carry on until you've run out of space on the pin. Hopefully sooner or later you'll end up with something that looks a bit like this. Right, right, let's pull the pin out of the wood and uh, move on to the next stage. So you've got your little coils of wire here all connected by loops. What you do next is you get some clippers and you just snip the one end of each coil to the length of the bar that you want. Just like that just like that. The other end of the barbs are going to be left long for the minute to give you something to, to work with. So I'm just going to cut these two loops, just snip the end of them. These will be the, the longer bits that we can uh, we can use to handle these barbs. So there you have it. Um, what you got should look something a bit like this. So you take the strand of wire that you want the barbs to be on and you slip it through the middle of the coil. A bit like threading a needle really. Um, you certainly find out how good your eyesight is when you try to do this. Um, I fasten it in place with some super glue, the runny super glue, not the gel stuff. And then you've got to wait for the super glue to go off. Then you just repeat as many times as you want until you've got the length of barbed wire that is suitable for your needs. And once you're done, it's just time to clip the barbs to the desired length. Now I do appreciate that for a 1 64th scale, this barbed wire is pretty hefty, um, but I'm okay with that. Maybe it's, I don't know, zombie wire with particularly big barbs for slicing zombies apart, or you know, if you're playing 40K or whatever, it's anti-orc wire or something. I don't know, all I know is I like the look of it. And here you go, the finished article, ready to shred your chosen victim. So here you go, the finished length of wire wrapped around the superstructure on one of slightly disgruntled Alan's cars. As I said earlier, I know the wire's a bit out of scale, but let's face it, the bigger the barbs, the more carnage that they can inflict. I think it looks good on a Gaslands car. Would probably look equally good on an Orc Barricade or a Space Marine Compound or uh, any other gaming application you can think that would need barbed wire. Or if you've got a teeny tiny little farm, perhaps it would work well on your teeny little tiny farm fences. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, this is where I do the YouTube -y bit by saying if you have then please hit the like button and subscribe and hit the notifications bell etc etc yada 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 yada. But bottom line is thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, take care, stay safe and bye for now.